what's good y'all boy ross back at again with another video so we're gonna check out the undertaker on his worst wwe injury now apparently uh this is a uh, part of uh i'm guessing tony hawk's podcast um didn't know he had a, a podcast situation so um definitely uh interested in checking uh checking it out just on its own or whatnot because tony hawk is he's the goat <laughs> i grew up you know what i'm saying watching tony hawk in the x games and it, it definitely made me interested in just x games in general skating and bmx and stuff like that granted i wasn't trying to do none of that stuff because i wasn't that talented and wasn't trying to break anything but nevertheless i definitely want to check this out them having the undertaker on there is pretty crazy and them talking about uh some of the worst injuries uh the undertaker has faced considering tony Hawk is damn near broken everybody every bone in his body should be a very interesting uh um conversation to have appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel you guys are truly amazing and let's see what uh the undertaker has to say i think it's amazing the punishment you guys go through but then to be because you know i we skate we go through punishment but i also know from being a little bit heavy for a pro skateboarder that mm -hmm. it's it's a harder hit and yeah. you're way bigger than i like you're way bigger <laughs> than anybody that has ever been a pro skateboarder yeah how well, are those that, slams yeah i mean for that's a big all, guy but it, i guess it all kind of weighs out like we, we're, we're hitting usually on a mat and you guys are hitting concrete and rails yeah and stuff well, like when that, we had so. that conversation with, with darby but so i'm guessing maybe darby allen was on the show at some point i may have to check that one out if you guys know about it uh i know he's in the skateboarding as well so it would make sense if he was on uh on tony hawk's podcast or whatnot so i may have to check that one out as well but the the consistent <clears throat> abuse and the consistent <clears throat> night after night after night i mean yeah. and you were and you were doing it at a time when no one was really getting much break right no 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 i had early on in my career with wwe I had an eight-year stretch where I averaged 250 dates a year. Jeez. <laughs> I would go out. The, the, and some they're... of those are like cage matches. And I, I want y'all to understand, this is why we, you know, I stay showing respect to the wrestlers that do this, man. He is gone on the road in different cities almost every night, majority of the year. He's missing birthdays. He's missing family functions. He's missing sometimes holidays. He's risking his body almost every day of the year just to entertain us, bro. You got to love wrestling to want to be in it. I, I, I will say that. And stuff. Well, there's cage matches, and, but they all kind of run, to, run together because, you know, there was a time I did 35 nights in a row. That's unreal. And, and that's a different city, too. So no, so no time to heal and rest. No. You're just straight on the plane. And that's not it. That was, those are talk. He's in, he's probably accounting for the live tapings and then the house show events. That back then it was a lot more house show events. So he's accounting for the the live tapings, the house show events, having to be in one city by the morning to do it all over again. Like that's insanity. While staying in character, bro, it's crazy. No, you're straight on the plane or you're straight in the car. Um, and we didn't have I mean, it's it's really cool now to see how our industry has evolved yeah. in the sense that now we have we have doctors that travel with us we have trainers mm -hmm. that, you know we have a medical team that you know anytime that something happens now there's somebody on it immediately yeah. you know early on you know, you, you guys weren't nothing. you guys weren't icing and stuff. Right? Oh no, I mean, not, you weren't icing. Hey, shout out to the homie with the kicks, man. Those kicks look pretty fucking tough. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> Those kicks look tough as hell, man. But uh, him even saying that, like, just going around, you gotta be in the next town. There's no medical individual there on the sh at the show, so you kind of just get out of suck it up, take some pain meds, and. Hopefully it's not been too serious. Like that's it. That's wild. <laughs> Listen, we weren't doing anything right. but just, just trying to strap it down and do it all over again the next night. Right. I had an injury. I was in um, I was in Springfield, Massachusetts. I was wrestling a guy by the name of uh, Mabel. He was my height, which is about six eight, six nine, but he was like five hundred pounds. Yeah. And he was just grossly out of shape. His cardio was horrible. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, 
and that, that's usually a lot of the time that's how injuries occur when mm-hmm. somebody's doesn't have the, their cardio and can't keep up within in a match and this is exactly what happened mm-hmm. you know we're in the match and i'm flying around and and he was supposed to be someplace <laughs> and he, he wasn't in time right. so he tried to compensate and instead of hitting me you know with with this part of his arm he lunged and i run i'm coming off of the ropes full steam yeah. and basically run right straight into a big punch hand hits me in in my eye socket and then i have an orbital uh i have an orbital blowout fracture yeah Jeez. right we get back so i think i've just caught one right i've got i'm gonna have a shiner it is what it is no. Not with that. We're driving back. We were we were kind of staying in Boston and making all these little towns around Boston on this particular loop. And um, my manager, Paul Bear, was driving. I'm sitting in the car, and it wasn't. I didn't even really blow my nose. I just kind of went yeah, like that. That's, that's, how you, that's how you do it. And and fighters do it all. The my time. face just it blew up. Yeah. And I, so I did have a bag of ice. So I put the bag of ice back on it. Damn. It goes back down, and. Uh, like any, like if I sneezed, anything like yeah. my whole face just puffed out. Yeah. I think, oh, well, I still, I'm not smart enough at that particular time <laughs> to realize that there may be something wrong with my. That's <laughs> with... wild, bro. Didn't even whoop. Oh, put some ice on it. Oh, my nose is you. What? Undertaker is a tough SOB, man. Uh, you know, with my, my face, but. But you know, no, it didn't, it didn't affect your eyesight? That one didn't. That 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 one didn't. I end up. You said, hey, uh, here we go. Orbital. I've broken both of them. Oh, oh my yeah. god! So I wrestle two more nights. And Hell, doesn't it blow up just it, shaking yeah, your head? Yeah, yeah, it 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 would, but you know, it was. You know, back then our mentality was, if you walk, you go to the ring. Yes. Yeah. You know, because it it's when you don't show up to events. And you know we're struggling it too. We, you know our, our business isn't like it is now. Mm-hmm. So anytime that you you miss a show or something like that, it adversely affects the next time we run that city because people will think about like, well, I bought tickets to see such and such, yeah. and he didn't bro, show. It's just, it, bro, it was different back then. You got to kind of get it how you live. There was situations like people didn't want to get injured or they would keep fighting through the pain even though they were probably seriously injured. Because one, they didn't want to miss out on the money. Two, potentially they didn't want to lose their spot. You know what I'm saying? You're not trying to lose your spot in the card. And then three, like he just said, back then it's like, oh, I paid this money to expect to see this wrestler. He ain't show up. I may not want to come next time. He may not show up. So it's it was just a lot of different things, how things played out back then. People were wrestling injured because so many different factors. Oh, So am I going to do it again? So there's that mentality. You got to go to the ring. You got to work. Yep. It's the best. What's best for business. And um, but anyway, so I'd work two more nights, and um, I don't even remember what town it was. Somewhere up there around Boston, and I was going to have. I was going to meet one of the other guys at a bar after the show, and we were staying in different hotels. So rest up. Yeah, yeah. We were going to yeah, yeah. replenish, replenish, yes. replenish our <laughs> fluids. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I couldn't find the bar. And so I'm driving back to my hotel. It's about 12.30, 1 in the morning. And I see this, like, it's a kind of a rural area. And I drive by and I see a sign that right sticking out that says hospital. I said, you know what? I'm going to drive through there. And if there's nobody in the emergency room, yeah. I'm going to go get this thing checked out. Yeah. I know something's not right. I just yeah. don't know what it is. It broke it so, it does give hints. So I drive in there. There's nobody, I mean, nobody in the emergency room. Yeah. I park, I get in, I go... They give me a CAT scan. The doctor comes out and he goes, well, you've lost about 50% of your orbital floor. I'm oh, like, excuse me? What? He goes, yeah, you need to go home and find you an, an ophthalmologist and a surgeon. And, you know, comes out, comes to find out, I had to end up losing 90% of my orbital floor. So what are they? My, my, my optic nerve is setting right on top of a jagged piece of bone. Oh, my God. If I'd have got hit in the right side of my head again, there's a good chance I'd have lost my eye. What? And uh, so anyway, yeah, it took two surgeons. They go in. They pick out all the uh, all the bone fragments, yeah. and then they put in a, you know. Fake one, right? Yeah, put yeah. in a fake one. This is why he's the GOAT. <laughs> 
He could have lost his eye with one more hit to the side of the head, bro. This is why he's the GOAT. He's one of the greatest to ever do it. If the Undertaker is not in your top ten, I don't I don't know. I don't know what you're doing. Just this alone. All to to keep the business going. But, but the GOAT. And then years down the, the line, so he was one of the bigger guys. And then one of our littlest guys, like Ray Mysterio, yeah. he's a tiny guy, sweetheart of a guy. He ended up jumping off of a top rope, and his, his ass was supposed to hit me in the chest, but it hit me right in the face. <laughs> oh, wait, no. Wait, no way. you got your own little broke by an anus? Yeah, I did. <laughs> wow. So, I got. I got. I didn't even know that was possible. That's, very, yeah. that's a very specific area that of the is ass, incredible. though. He was, was a little dude. He was a little, like, was bony, a bony ass. ass. It was a bony ass, yeah, and it was right, right <laughs> on the bridge of my nose. Hey, yo. So, so he lands, and then he drives me. You know, I, you know, I got all of his weight on my head, and I hit the mat and uh, blew out my other one. Was, did you know it at that time? Since you had already been through I, it, I, I, did, I didn't know. I knew it was like possible, but yeah. I also it broke my broke my nose. And, oh. I, and, it, and I got concussed all oh, on this oh. deal. I did. You could tell. That is a hot that's ass, next man. level. Yeah. yeah. We talk and about a lot of injuries on the show, and I don't think we've gone into this territory. Yeah. <laughs> I know. It's, uh, injured that's by wild. an anus. Yeah, it's hard being injured by an anus. <laughs> <laughs> I wear that with pride. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, my nose was broke. I fixed my nose right there. I just squeezed my nose back. And, uh, Bro, he is a fucking savage. The dude is concussed, has another orbital fracture, all oh, because of Ray. <laughs> I know it wasn't intentional. And then he proceeds to just oof, and get back into it. Like, just what? Uh, <laughs> was there was there a risk that your face would be lopsided from either of the fractures? So this one, that so the 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 second one. And to this day, and this has been years, I mean, this has probably been 15 years ago that that happened. I still have double vision. Really? Yeah. So I can look straight and I'm fine. But to look kind of like my peripheral vision, everything becomes opaque. Oh, oh wow. harsh. Yeah. Wow. So, so like that, if I look up, it's opaque. Anything to my side. So I, I continued to wrestle. So then, you know, from that point forward, I had to make sure that, you know, I couldn't just rely on my, on. my eyes. I had to turn yep. so that I could always make sure that everybody was clear and I knew exactly where everybody was at. So. Damn. Well, that's why I'm not wrestling because I can't turn my neck that far to look at people straight on. So. Yeah. yeah. How's your neck? Because you guys my always neck, hurt your neck too. Yeah. Right? My neck's jammed up. My, my, I need new knees. Um, yeah. Jeez. You, know, you haven't had new knees yet. No, not yet. I've Holding put it off. off. I've put it off. That's cool. But um, <laughs> yeah, that's it's getting cool. to a point. Now, where Jeez. I think, you know, I'm, I need quality of life, right? I right. Was, and I, they're getting I, I, better, man. Every year I keep seeing people that get knee replacements and hip replacements yeah. where they're back and like better than ever. Yeah. My hips, I've, I've already redone my hips. Um, yeah. Yeah. I, 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 I believe that was on the uh, Undertaker documentary. You talk about getting hip surgery and stuff. Replacements, I have what they call the Birmingham hip resurface. Uh. And that's where they, they take the, they go in. I got a zipper like that on my on my hip where they go in. They take the head of the femur. They take all the arthritis and the scar tissue off of it. Yeah. They drill a hole in it, and they put a titanium cap awesome. right over the head of the femur. And then they go in the uh, acetabulum. They do the same thing. They clean out the socket part, and there's a titanium cup that they hammer in there. Cool. It's awesome. It, you get on both? I got them on both sides now. Wow. That's, the why, that's the only way I was able to keep wrestling. If I'd have had total hips done, I wouldn't mm. have been able to wrestle. But she, bro. I, 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 bro. <laughs> this is why we appreciate what The Undertaker has done for us, man. For us fans. He still, <laughs> hopefully he was able to get the knee replacement surgery done. Dude, it's just, he's just on another level. You have to have heart to be a wrestler, bro. You got to have grit to be a wrestler. And the fact that he was doing this for so many years, bro, with all types of pain, all types of injuries, just to entertain us, to let you know how much he cared about the business. 
and that was amazing i definitely want to check out some more of this hopefully you guys can see this video hopefully it doesn't get blocked i don't even care if this you know this video get uh uh demonetized i honestly you know want y'all to be able to see my reaction to this and uh, uh as long as it, i can post it i'm okay with it hopefully it doesn't get blocked with copyright we will see so if you see the video then you know it's it's a go um but yeah definitely i i i definitely want to check out some more of tony hawk's uh um tony hawk's uh podcast didn't even know he had one definitely want to check out the one uh, i guess uh darby album may have been on there so uh if you guys want me to check out some more of tony hawk's uh podcast in the sense of you know maybe different wrestlers being on there i definitely will let me know if you like this uh this video you know if y'all you know if y'all knew about any of this <laughs> this uh injuries from the undertaker this was my first time ever hearing this maybe this was his first time even talking about it but this is my first time ever hearing this story so this was quite crazy but i appreciate all love and support you guys showing on the channel road to 150k and i'm still young speedy youtube best and champ of the world appreciate y'all kicking me see y'all next one peace